Hey everyone, welcome back. We're gonna talk about Ariana Grande today. So why are we talking about Ariana today? Well, you never know when inspiration or when you're gonna learn something from someone or something, right? You could be sitting reading a book or you know, reading a poem, watching a film, and something's gonna just hit you, right? Something's gonna hit you in the heart. And that happened to me not that long ago listening to Ariana Grande. So the song I was listening to was Thank You Next by her. It came out of in 2019 um, and I it's just the song itself is quite the bop, right? Um, honestly, I think it's my favorite song from her uh, for multiple reasons. It's just a really good song. But aside from that, um, the lyrics. The lyrics are where it's always at, right? And the song, you know, um, like a lot of pop songs, talks about heartbreak. It talks about, you know, like romance and love and talks about, you know, um, all these things. But um, it, it, it goes a little bit deeper than a regular pop song. And we're going to get into the lyrics a little bit. Um, you know, like most dating, uh, most dating, most celebrity, uh, you know, dating lives. Um, she has a prolific uh, dating background. Um, she dated uh, Pete Davidson. Um, she dated ba uh, Mac Miller, who has passed away now. Um, and she talks about them. She talks about them in the song. She says, you know, like, you know, I thought I was going to marry this guy. This other guy taught me, you know, about patience. This other person taught me about love this other person taught me about pain and that's very true i've had a very similar experiences i've dated a lot and um i've had uh, i've learned i learned from each person i've definitely learned something uh, intentionally or unintentionally however um the song gets a little deeper than that because um, it starts, she starts saying how she's dating someone new, how, you know, things are moving kind of quickly, and you're like, oh great, Ariana, who, who's next? Who are you dating? Like, uh, uh, let's see who it is. Who are you writing this song about? But, the person she's referring to is herself. And she now replaces all her exes with her name, and how she was able to teach herself how to love herself, how she was able to teach herself about patience and love and uh, pain and all these things. Um, and yeah, that's when it hit me. And yeah, and this made me think about like my dating experiences, right? And how like, yeah, I've learned to process and think about them and what I've learned from them. However, I've always was thinking, okay, so next time I get in a relationship, I'm not gonna have these issues. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm such a better person because of these things. But it was always with the objective that I was going to do it for someone else. I was learning these things so I can be a better boyfriend, a better husband, a better, uh, you know, spouse or whatever. But I realized yeah, that's like one way to go about things, um, but probably the best way to go about things is I should just do them because I want to be a better person. Not because I want to do it, you know, subconsciously for someone else, but because I just want to be better for myself. And that's something that's been hard for me for a long time, is doing things for myself and just literally just for myself i've i've i grew up um in a household where there was a lot of codependency on me and i really did create um that type of relationship um with those around me and especially in uh, romantic relationships i kind of also created those situations and i was always trying to make the other person uh, their needs and their wants um, before mine and it never ended well it never ended well for me um, I was always trying to I don't know like win their approval this um, this song uh, reminds me a lot of Shel Silverstein um, there's a book a short story he wrote um, called The Missing Piece 
and in it there's this missing piece where um they are looking for their like other half right and they're trying to find the other half they're trying to fit each other and they go through multiple multiple people you know they're like okay this half doesn't work this half doesn't work this piece doesn't work finally they find like a piece that works you know they like click and you know and you love that you love it you love it when you go like on a date and you click and everything um but what starts happening is one of them starts growing and no longer fits you know the other piece and oh, that's such a great like allegory um because no matter what we are humans and we are uh, always growing and changing so like this fantasy of meeting someone who is going to complete us is crazy, right? It's a crazy fantasy. Um, and we, we definitely have um, a lot of societal, cultural, and um, honestly religious um, role models to kind of blame for installing instilling this in us, right? Um, maybe even our families. Um, but the point is this piece finally finds a whole, like a whole piece, like a circle in a complete circle. And they're like, wait, how'd you do that? And they were like, well, like through a lot of work, I was able to make myself whole. And he's like, well, like, don't, aren't you like looking for your piece? And he's like, I am, I'm full, I, I, I am complete. I am not missing anyone or anything. And he's like, he just sits there and he's like, oh dang, have I been looking for the wrong thing this whole time? And what he starts doing is he starts molding himself, you know, because he's kind of like, he has jagged edges and he, he can't roll, he can't become a circle, but he starts rolling, but he starts smoothing himself out and breaking pieces off. And eventually he does, like by a lot of work, um, he becomes this whole piece, this whole circle and is able to roll, roll around by himself. And, um, and the story just ends in with him running into that whole piece again um, from previously, and they roll they roll down together, and that's called interdependence, right? Um, when you respect the other person for being who they are, they have their ideas, thoughts, feelings. You have your ideas, thoughts, and feelings, and you respect each other. Um, and you will have differences, you know, it's it's good to have, you know, similarities and similar values and Beliefs and all those things, but no matter what you're whoever you end up with They're not gonna think like you they they don't have the same You know brain synapses and thought processes exactly like you, you know, you will have difference of opinion and that's okay That's normal. It's imperfect love um, Guillermo del Toro um, you know, famous director, he loves making films about like monsters. And in a lot of those movies, um, someone falls in love with the monster, a child or uh, the protagonist or something. Someone sees something in the monster and they fall in love with it, um, either romantically or non-romantic, platonic love, whatever. And he says um, he loves those stories because imperfect love is uh, so much more romantic than perfect love. It's so easy to love, you know, someone who is flawless, you know? Celebrities are almost flawless. It's easy to love a celebrity. It's easy to love someone we only see their good side, right? Um, but it's much harder to love, well, it's much harder, but it's much more romantic to love someone who's imperfect and has differences, right? Um, and yeah, but ultimately you need to be yourself in relationships and you need to be doing things for yourself and love yourself. And I, that's something I've had so much trouble with, um, seeing my self value and loving myself. I just never thought, I thought the more I loved the other person, the more they would love me back but they they cannot they cannot if they you don't love yourself you know or it's very hard 
eventually they will not uh, appreciate you and you resent them and that's what's happened a lot in my past relationships i've i've resented a lot of them um you know i've forgiven all of them as you know in my heart but I, at the time i resented all of them because i was like i am doing everything i am giving you what you want why why won't you love me and i didn't love myself um and this is going back to Ariana Grande. She ultimately, you know, I don't know Ariana, but I can tell, like, she wants, you know, she loves herself, uh, at least according to this song. And uh, and she says she wants to walk down the aisle and hopefully it, it'll be only one time that she walks down the aisle. But even if it doesn't work out, she'll make another song out of it. So it's kind of tongue in cheek, right? Um, but that's kind of how it is like in dating Like you really hope that things will work out But you also have to keep that part of you. That's like if it doesn't work out. It's okay Because you are already a full and like beautiful person and You were that before them and you will be and Hopefully you will be like after and you keep continue growing and be a better person and it's been a long journey for me, you know? My value was long for a long time tied to who I was dating and my relationships. Um, but for the first time in a long time, and probably first time in my life, in the last like seven, eight months, last year, I've been able to discover my own value and, and really love myself and love who I am and really stand up for myself and my wants, my needs. Um, and that's different. It's very different for me. And it feels icky sometimes. It feels like I'm being selfish or I'm being too unloving to others. But no, um, if you do it in a loving manner and communicate, and if the other person doesn't respect it, then maybe it might not be the right relationship. But yeah, next time you feel like you don't, you know, you don't have value or you don't love yourself enough, just remember, you know, you can listen to some Ariana Grande and remember your best teacher and your best fan is yourself. And if you don't have that yet, Develop it, even if you're married or in a relationship, or whatever. Develop it, kids. You will need that. The person you're gonna, you can rely most on, is yourself, right? You know. And if you're religious, God, you know, God is a part of that too. But ultimately, it's yourself. You have to rely on yourself, and you have to love yourself. But yeah, thank you for listening. I hope you know some of this is relevant to you. Feel free to comment if it was um and shared um i hope you guys have a great day and love you all and i'll talk to you later bye